actually the picture that we, we, we have to, to give to people is one in which on the ground there are signs of what has been done, can be done and should be done for the future. What we need to go along with this now, obviously, is a credible political negotiation um, so that the politics um, can start to, to help and support the changes that are happening on the ground, changes that the Palestinian Authority are making, the government of Israel is responding to. The Palestinian Authority has made significant progress. Today, Palestinian institutions compare favorably with those in established states. We also welcome the new Palestinian National Development Plan, and I pay tribute to the work of Prime Minister Fayyad. I'm proud to say the European Union has been instrumental in the institution building process, and for 2011, we have earmarked 300 million euros for it. Yet it's clear that these achievements can only be sustainable in the event of a political breakthrough. The international community should not let these concerted efforts go to waste. The opportunity should not be missed. We reaffirm our readiness to contribute to a negotiated solution with the timeline set by the Quartet. We all have agreed to support the Palestinian Authority in seeking observer status to the World Trade Organization. Growth and Prosperity in the Palestinian coming state and in the Palestinian territory has to come through private sector, vibrant private sector that can produce and export. And for that to happen, the Palestinian Authority would benefit from that access to the World Trade Organization, which is something we will actively support. We also support the holding of a donor conference in Paris in June, which will be a bit more than three years since the last quite successful donor conference that was hold, held in Paris in December 2007. It had a three-year horizon which has expired, so it's time to come together again and see that as a strong political expression of support. Thank you. The statement in which the committee that met today here in Brussels welcomed the assessment of the World Bank, the IMF, the United Nations, that the Palestinian Authority is above the threshold for a functioning state in the key sectors they studied and that Palestinian institutions compare favorably with those in established states. That, to us, was the object of the exercise embodied in the program that we launched in August of 2009. Nevertheless, Israel has taken very important uh, decisions in the last few months to uh, um, create a stable humanitarian and economic uh, situation for Gaza. We have opened the crossings for all goods. Uh, we have uh, approved uh, 130 projects to be implemented by in the international community. Uh, in that respect, we condemn all attempts by international NGOs to send another flotilla to the region in late May.